Um, I know it's a or Spanish fly or something. No, he wouldn't have gave him a Spanish fly. Huh. I was trying to think of the name of that stupid move recently. Oh, the, the Canadian destroyer? No, the Spanish fly. I feel the same way about that one. I feel like everybody does it now. It you know what stupid move, Rob? I bet you don't like it either, too. It's like when they put you in the tree of woe. And Del Rio, I think, used to do this or something. But, like, the guy would be hanging in the tree of ro- woe. And, like, you, the guy would just kind of float there. The, the guy that the victim would be floating there. And then the guy jumps down onto the dude. It's almost like you wait for the guy to stomp on you. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like stomp you down from the top rope. Mm, I think maybe I know what you mean, but but I got to say this to that. If you have never been hung upside down on the tree of woe and had your feet um, folded underneath the turnbuckle, uh-huh. then, then I suggest you do that and then revisit this because it is okay. very- it's not easy to get out. It fucking yeah. hurts. It hurts your calves. Uh-huh. And it hurts your shin, depending on how, how the fold is. But, like, a lot of times when I'm hanging upside down, I'm like, oh. I'm like, I mean, <laughs> yes, oh, man. <laughs> and I re- that was perfect, actually. Boom. Yeah. No, a lot of times I'm, like, really, like, reaching up there, like, mother fuck. I can't wait to get unhooked because it's just like having a pain on, you, like, your calf squeezed. Um, and, and sometimes, you, you know, you, you, sometimes somebody needs help, you know, I don't know if I've ever actually need help. I know I've been close, but I think that I've always been able to get it, but sometimes it takes a lot longer than I want to. Like I, you know, they, they really had me hooked and up there and I'm like, God damn it. Just cause of the leverage, cause the way all of my weight is pulling down on my leg is making my, my shin go up underneath yeah. the buckle and it's, it's, it's fighting me. My own leg is fighting me and it hurts. So I just want to add that, you know, okay. I think if, it, if, if anybody that's wrestled in the chat room has been in a tree of woe and has never had it hurt, I'd be surprised because man, that's like one of those things where, um, but when it hurts, it's like getting a cramp. It's that yeah. bad. It's, it's like, oh, 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 you want to stop it immediately. Yeah. All right, you sold me. I'm fine with it, Ben. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that looks tough enough for me. Like, if I'm trying to escape out of that, yeah, and like your leg, oh my God. Yeah. Baby, have you ever been hung upside down in the tree of woe? Yeah. Have you ever gotten stuck like that? No. Oh. Have you, does it, have you ever gotten hurt? Like, where it hurts your legs when you're tied up under it? Um, only after I just got tattooed. Oh, <laughs> they take it easy on her. She's a girl. She's the only girl in the class. <laughs> Those dang trio woes, I tell you what. Um, Trey Nelson chimes in again. Thank you again for the 999. Oh, little little love. He's got the zoomies. Love right going, on. On. going going nuts. I love it when the pets get zoomies. Come here, Barbie. Come here, Barbie. Say hi, Barbie. We got both doggies on this week. Oh, yeah. about that. Look at both making cameos. Oh, oh look at you don't want to be on here. He's like, oh, not right now. Yeah. I didn't know she had brown paws. I thought she was pure black. Yeah, it's yeah, she's got brown, and it's 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 funny because they have like some opposite um, design yeah. colors. Yeah. They're the same um, breed, so same breed but different colors. Adorable, Bar- um, Barbie's a whopping. Um, twelve pounds, and then oh, man. Uh, and little one there is like uh, three and a half pounds. You know. Holy smokes! Big Kahuna's there. Yeah, <laughs> our guard dogs. Your guard dogs. 